From his humble beginning in Depression-era America to his final days as a trailblazer in a booming industry, Bill Daniels witnessed change at lightning speed. But the values he learned growing up remain constant. Honesty, etiquette, discipline, and respect for others. Values that served him well throughout his professional life as a pioneering entrepreneur and visionary community leader. The legacy of Bill Daniels is preserved in the foundation he created and in speeches, writing, and correspondence that provide a deeper understanding of the values he hoped to share. Imagine a world where people give of themselves simply because they want to. No ulterior motives, just the desire to give for the sake of giving. Now, instead of imagining this kind of world, do your part in making it happen. Make a charitable donation. Volunteer your time to improve your community. Give back to the world that gives so much to you. And if it happens to make you feel good to give, that's all right. Feeling good is the one ulterior motive that's acceptable. Bill Daniels. Daniels was a remarkable individual who achieved phenomenal success through a combination of vision, perseverance, and good fortune. Born in Greeley, Colorado in 1920, Bill lived with his family in Omaha, Nebraska and Council Bluffs, Iowa as a child. The family moved to Hobbs, New Mexico when Bill was a teenager, where his difficulty adjusting and unruly nature concerned his parents. For his junior year of high school, Bob and Adele Daniels enrolled their son in the New Mexico Military Institute hoping its discipline and structure would channel Bill's energy to productive pursuits. Encouraged by his mentor and coach, Babe Godfrey, Bill thrived in athletics, playing baseball, football, basketball, and boxing. For two years running, he was an undefeated New Mexico Golden Gloves champion. In World War II and the Korean conflict, Bill distinguished himself as a fearless fighter pilot in the U.S. Navy retiring as a decorated full commander. Returning to Hobbs, Bill was unfulfilled working in the family insurance business and decided to move to Casper, Wyoming. In 1952, while driving to Casper after a family visit in Hobbs, Bill stopped at Murphy's Bar in Denver for lunch and an unexpected appointment with destiny. Mounted above the bar was a small black and white TV set. The Wednesday night fights live from New York City crackled on the screen. It was the first time Bill Daniels had ever laid eyes on a television, and he was captivated. When he discovered a mountain range prevented TV signals from reaching Casper, Bill saw opportunity where others might find disappointment. He recruited others who believed in his vision and brought cable television to Casper and thousands of other areas isolated from the airwaves across the country. Bill became widely known as a shrewd but fair negotiator of the highest integrity, whose handshake meant more than a detailed contract. The firm he founded, Daniels & Associates, was nationally recognized as a leading provider of investment banking services to media and technology companies. Bill's leadership attracted numerous businesses to the Rocky Mountain region. An avid sports fan, Bill was one of the first cable leaders to focus on sports programming, clearing the way for today's regional sports networks. He also sponsored boxing champions, served as president of the American Basketball Association, was a founder of the United States Football League, and part owner of several professional sports teams, including the Utah Stars and the Los Angeles Lakers. While Bill was widely known and respected for his leadership in sports and cable, it was his humanitarian efforts that brought him the most joy. Bill believed that those who have achieved success have a responsibility to help others. Over the years, he made countless charitable contributions and gave back to the community in meaningful ways. To each philanthropic endeavor, Bill brought his unique style, a very personal concern and involvement with people in need and the organizations that help them. In the late 1990s, Bill spent his final years carefully creating the foundation that would perpetuate his legacy of giving. 
His funding priorities were influenced by personal relationships and experiences in his life. Following Bill's direction, approximately 30% of the Daniels Fund's charitable allocations support college scholarships. 70% is dedicated to grants for nonprofit organizations providing programs or services. Motivated by his love for the places most impacting his life and career, Bill specified funding in four states, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, as well as the percentage of funding allocated to each. Bill Daniels was a complex man, a master at balancing the contradictory influences that defined him. He excelled without a college degree, but wanted to afford deserving young people the chance to earn one. He expected people to take responsibility for themselves, but offered assistance to the hungry and homeless. He had high expectations of himself and others, but offered second chances to those who stumbled and had learned from it. Perhaps Bill's greatest contradiction was his tough exterior and warm heart. Beneath that scrappy boxer, fearless fighter pilot, and tenacious negotiator was a man who knew how to love, laugh, and forgive. In his final years, as age and illness overtook him, Bill described a spiritual peace now living in harmony with his tireless drive. As he completed the planning for his foundation, Bill told his friend, Reverend Ed Beck, that he felt a weight had been lifted from his shoulders and he was ready to answer God's final call. Bill Daniels died on March 7, 2000. One of the finest tributes to Bill was offered by President Gerald Ford. The saying goes that in America, anybody can grow up to be president. That may be true. But not everybody can grow up to be a Bill Daniels. I wish there were more like him. Undoubtedly, Bill would have been deeply humbled hearing the many heartfelt words spoken about him. But even more, he would have felt the peace of accomplishment, knowing the culmination of his life's work would forever make life better, one individual at a time. This is the legacy of Bill Daniels. When you put your life in perspective, you realize how little time there is to make something truly significant out of it. To some people, this might mean acquiring a lot of possessions. To others, building a business or owning property. There's nothing wrong with these aspirations. But for me, they pale in comparison to leaving something more consequential. Being the kind of person who takes the time to pass knowledge and values onto the next generation. Having family, friends, and business associates remember you as an honest person and helping others who will be left behind. I believe if you live your life in this way, you'll leave this world with a clear conscience and a smile on your face.